Hey guys, welcome back to episode 9 of Ask the Panel. Guys, today we are going to be talking about substrate tolerances. Here lately we've been running into some substrate tolerances issues, so I thought it was a great opportunity to talk about what the substrate tolerances are for the different components in the wall assembly and what everybody in the industry could do to help us panel guys out. The first substrate tolerance I want to talk to you all about is the cold form metal framing tolerance. In those specifications, and I looked through quite a few today, the specified tolerance is plus or minus eighth of an inch over 10 feet in level, plumb, and true to line. That means that our stud walls should be plus or minus an eighth of an inch out over 10 feet. That's a very, very flat wall, but that is not what we've been seeing lately. In addition to the metal stud framing, you'll usually find gypsum sheathing or plywood sheathing on top of the studs. However, in the sheathing specification, it never really goes into what the flatness tolerance is supposed to be for this sheathing. That is the missing link and, what, and also what we would call substrate tolerance. Now the second tolerance we're going to speak of is the panel substrate tolerance and we'll talk about it from the perspective of a panel guy like ourselves. In all the MCM panel specifications, what's missing in all of these is there is no specified substrate tolerance. There is a lot of panel face tolerances which is usually an eighth of an inch over 10 feet which is also happens to be the same sub, or the same tolerance as the metal stud framing, which totally makes sense. But what we don't have specified is the substrate tolerance, and that is the most important thing of all. Because if you want flat panels, you have to put them on flat substrates. Now, what can we do as an industry to get flat substrates to hold people account accountable prior that are installing product prior to us, the metal stud framing guys, and deliver a substrate so that we can be efficient with our panel installation. When you get a substrate that is out of tolerance, we can spend upwards of 25% additional time straightening out an out of tolerance substrate. That's a significant amount of time, especially when we're the last product on the building. So if I'm an architect, where can I go find some of this language about the substrate tolerance and put it in my panel specification? I will tell you, you can go to the Metal Construction Association website and they have a downloadable MCM master specification that has the substrate tolerance narrative that you need to make your job a success listed in that specification. In section 1.07 project conditions, the substrate tolerance section reads as follows. The general contractor is responsible for providing a substrate with a tolerance of one quarter of an inch and 20 feet on level, plumb, and location control lines as indicated and within one eighth of an inch offset of adjoining faces of alignment of matching profile tolerances are non-cumulative. So what can you expect if you don't have your substrate within tolerance? Well it slows your project down and the panel guys are more than likely going to ask you do you want to fix your substrate yourself and get it within tolerance or do you want to get the panel guys to fix your substrate for you? So, how can everybody help us with this problem? Architects, please, if you're listening, please go to the MCA website and download this narrative and get it in your master specs. Master spec yourself, please consider adding this language into your overall master spec. General contractors, please highlight in the subcontracts with your metal stud framing guys the uh, substrate tolerances that you're supposed to that they're supposed to deliver and please be aware of what the tolerances are and do some quality control checks on them and keep them in line 
Also, general contractors, if you give us a flat substrate with intolerance, the panels will go in much faster, and ultimately, that's your goal. Okay, that concludes episode nine, Substrate Tolerances. We thank y'all for listening in one more time. Please drop in the comments below some suggestions on maybe some questions that you might have for the panel guys. And uh, as always, please follow us on all our social media at MillerClapperton.com, on Instagram at the Panel Guys. You can follow me at, at the Panel Guy. And then also follow us on our YouTube channel, which you're watching now. And it doesn't hurt to like us. So that's all I got. Look forward to talking to y'all next time for episode 10 on a to be determined topic. Thank you.